Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health and we're here to review this plant experiment. And this plant experiment was designed to see which water is the best water for the Diefenbachia plant. And I should mention that these Diefenbachia plants are actually grown in very high radio wave fields that are throughout my home. So they all deform in my home. And that's why we have a wide variety of deformities. But the other thing that's adding to the level of deformity is the water. So I've actually arranged these in the order that they have deformed from most deformed to least deformed. And this is the most deformed plant. So diet lemonade does not agree at all with the Diefenbachia. Now the second most deformed plant is microwaved water and there was no real surprises with microwaved water. It's extensively known for its toxicity. Now this one was kind of a surprise, the coffee plant, because this coffee plant was actually thriving but if we look down here, it's actually got a buildup of coffee residue in its base, and that's throughout the soil. So the plant has now started to show significant stress. Now this one essentially is our control plant. So this is the Tucson water plant. So this is getting faucet water. And as you can see, that's pretty much the typical growth rate I get on my control plants right now. So this is a radio frequency deformed plant and many of my control plants show this type of leaf growth. So the next one is our filtered water. So this is a water pitcher and it was deforming initially in the experiment but that deformity appears to have cleared and it is now showing better growth than the regular faucet water. So our next one is this one. This one is actually getting water that has been irradiated by a Wi-Fi router. So I have a bottle of water, it sits next to a Wi-Fi router, and that's the water that we're watering this plant with. So this one is aged water from 2011. And it's actually showing much better growth than our control plant that gets Tucson water. So there's something about aged water which is much more agreeable to the Diefenbachia. Now this one is getting transmitting utility meter water and is actually showing improved growth. And one of the reasons for that is because when you irradiate water, it sometimes has a fertilizer effect. And this particular plant appears to be responding favorably to that fertilizer effect of the irradiated water and is showing beneficial growth. So this one is Diet Cola. And it has a very nice leaf. Now it's still much smaller than the standard Diefenbachia. And we'll get to that a little bit later. But certainly Diet Cola is actually more beneficial in a radio wave field than what standard water is. So this is steam distilled water. We're getting a very nice looking plant with steam distilled water. And over here is reverse osmosis water that has been UV treated. And we also have a very nice plant. Just to give you some scale, you can see that these leaves are actually quite miniature. But they have the patterning that is typical of the Diefenbachia. So certainly demineralized water is beneficial in both cases. And that seems to be because demineralized water is like rainwater. 
So the plants are supposed to get rainwater in nature. And our last plant is tea. Now, there's something very, very beneficial about tea. And this plant is actually displaying some of the best growth in my home. And it's ginormous. If I back off, you can see that it towers above the rest of the plants. I was actually quite surprised at how large it is. So in a radio field, it appears that you should water your plants with tea. So that's the current findings of this experiment. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.